On this stained glass, Mary meeting Jesus after the resurrection. Here Jesus is carrying a white flag with a red cross on it. This is the traditional flag of the resurrection and can be seen in many of the artwork depicting the resurrection. Although there is no specific mention of Mary meeting her son after his resurrection, we do know that the Gospels do not say all that Christ did or met in the 40 days after Easter Sunday and before his ascension. It seems improbable that Jesus would appear to so many others and not to his mother. Many of the church's fathers write about how Mary shared in all his sorrows. It only makes sense that she would also share in his joys, including the resurrection. Many saints, including Saint Bernardine of Siena and in Saint Ignatius of Loyola, write that the Lord did appear to his mother after the resurrection. Here in this window, standing behind Mary, are two women holding palms, a traditional sign of martyrdom. These palms are for Mary, who won martyrdom in the suffering she endured for her son. If you look closely, you can see that these two women are actually angels. The outline of their wings can be seen, reinforcing that this meeting is definitely on the mystical plane, that this was a special grace given to Mary because of her holiness. Above the window depicting the meeting of the resurrected Christ with his mother is a bird flying out of the flames. This is a phoenix, a long-standing symbol of the resurrection. The phoenix was a mythological bird who was said to die in flames only to rise again. In Greek and Egyptian mythology, the phoenix represented the sun god who died each night only to rise the next day. Christians adopted this well-known symbol because of the obvious connection of life rising out of death. Several windows in our church are of pine cones. More than just pretty pictures, the pine cone is an ancient symbol known in many cultures throughout the world, including ancient Rome, Greek, and Hindu cultures. The pine cone has been used in a lot of Catholic art, including one being placed on the Pope's crozier or staff. In all of these, it is a symbol of fertility and of immortality. Two things intricately connected to Mary. Because of her yes to the Lord, our Savior was born, and through him we have been given the gift of eternal life. In this stained glass window, Mary is receiving the Eucharist from St. John. While on the cross, Jesus entrusted his mother to the care of St. John. Tradition has it that from that moment, John took Mary into his home. John was also an apostle and therefore a priest. In this window, we get a glimpse of what life might have been like after Christ ascended into heaven and before Mary's own assumption into heaven. The importance of the Eucharist is reinforced by the circular window above this scene of the sacred chalice and host. Here we can see how the early church remember the words and action of Christ during the Last Supper and realize that through the Eucharist we are not separated from our Lord. In fact, in the Eucharist, we are closer to Christ than ever. As we remember from when the disciples on the way to Emmaus recognized Christ in the breaking of the bread. The stained glass is the Assumption. Feast day is August 15th. This beautiful and colorful picture depicts the Assumption of Mary. Although it was officially declared a dogma of the church by Pope Pius XII in 1912, the belief 
that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory, has been celebrated since before the 6th century. In this window can be seen the major elements, the coffin covered with flowers from which the Blessed Virgin Mary is lifted up to heaven, the apostles gathering at her dormition, meaning falling asleep, St. John, in whose care Jesus placed his mother, is present, kneeling and looking up. St. Peter is also there, kneeling and in deep prayer. Above this window, at the top, in a little circle, are the letter M and R, standing for Maria Regina, that is Mary, the Queen of Heaven. At the bottom is a representation found in several of the windows, a representation of the temple with an urn of incense at the center. In the sanctuary of the old temple in Jerusalem, where God had his abode on earth, there was the altar of incense and which considered the holy of holies. This is here, of course, to show how Mary, who was the Theotokos, the bearer of the Son of God, was the very vessel of the Holy One himself. This beautiful stained glass, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Note in the circle above a theme represented in several windows, three crosses which mark the cross of Christ, surrounded by two sinners, the instrument of our salvation. Here, in this stained glass, the heart of Jesus. Note the cleft in Jesus' beard. This is a traditional way of picturing him, and the two halves of the beard represent his two natures, human and divine. I want to thank Father Michael Fuller for his inspiring interpretation of our beautiful stained glass windows. And my name is Father Bob.